Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pakulski. Today we will continue building financial model for Uber, Lyft or Taxi financial uh, business idea. So today we will be modeling the primary investment plan. Uh, so we may not all also be buying a car, we may also have some other primary investment uh, stage expenses. And today we will be uh, building this investment uh, plan and linking this investment plan to the operating activity. So this will be a very interesting uh, story. Uh, so you may give us a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. You can also order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas. We can help you with that. Uh, at the end screen of this video, I will give you the links uh, to the uh, playlist um, where I will be keeping all these tutorials and when I will finish this financial model I will place all the links in the, in, the, in the description of this video as well so you may watch all tutorials from scratch. So first of all let's uh, briefly run through what we did uh, earlier during previous tutorials. So uh, blue colors are our inputs so um, we have different types of trips we have mileage for each uh, type of trip duration of a trip revenue per trip we can switch on and off different types of trips we have uh, local and global coefficients for scenario play for mileage duration um, of a trip for revenues then we move to the typical week from Monday uh, to uh, Sunday where we specify the amount of trips uh, made per day. So this is uh, and he, in the, here we have local coefficients. Uh, we have we can switch on and off different types of trips uh, inside specific day of the week. So here is the story for Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday and so on till uh, Sunday then we have a table uh, when we can switch on and off revenues for this or that day of the week to make us be able to see the cash flow statement with all these adjustments here we uh, can uh, increase or decrease the amount of trips per day uh, inside this typical week uh, here we can uh, set up the uh, limitations uh, for mileage, daily mileage and daily uh, duration of the period of time when we are online. Then let's move forward. Then we specify when we start, um, when we get the first revenues, year and month. Then we move to the block of inputs when where we specify how fast we are reaching the target revenues from the moment when we start the operating activity. Then we start describing our car. So we start with specifying uh, the mileage when we are going to sell this car. Um, then we specify what will be the, uh, the what will be the, the the price for the new car, what will be uh, the price uh, when when we will be selling an old car, um, what will be the dime down payment, what will be the interest rate, what will be the term of loan uh, in months. Here we can uh, switch between uh, different types of financing of our story we can use own funds or a loan then we move to um, dealership maintenance so here we can specify the mileage on a dometer and here is here we will uh, we can specify the cost of service at the dealership and here we have months of operating activity of the car and here is the uh, uh, here is the the cost for parts. Then um, we can move to uh, we can move to investment plan. So let's assume that we will have. 
three months uh, invest primary investment plan. So we have the revenues starting from November 2023 so now let's do VLOOKUP function I will search this value in in this table I will need the second column and exact match now let's write here the formula so if if this one minus one equals to zero we will put uh, if this one uh, this one uh, equals to zero equals to zero we will put 12 otherwise we will put uh, this value So this is the timeline for our investment plan. So for example, let's assume that we will start in in 2020 January. Now let's write the lookup formula for the next, for the other months. So we'll be searching this value in this table. Second column we need, exact match. This time we will freeze this table. So now for the years, so if, if this value, if this value equals to 1, then we will take this value minus 1, otherwise we are taking just the previous value. Now let's extrapolate this formula to the left. So here we have the timeline. Here is the moment operating activity start. So this will be the moment when we start operating activity. Let's color it with green. This is the timeline. For our investment primary investment plan uh, then so here we will be placing what we are investing in during the investment period
so these are the inputs we are, we are coloring all these inputs with blue because blue is the unique color for all our inputs through the whole financial through the uh, the whole financial model so here we will be specifying uh, what we invest in and how much we in invest in during the investment uh, plan period before we start operating activity and now we will be putting these values inside the timeline so let me copy the investment the, the timeline So here on the left I will place the investment plan items and now I need to place this investment plan starting from October 23 means here. So for that purpose I will you I will write a very simple formula if formula so if uh, let's go to the top when we where we created the timeline for our project so here it is and here we have initial investment plan stage reverse and for now we will link all these expenses investment plan expenses to this line so one two three starting from October um, 2023 so what I will do now I will do if this one equals to one I'm freezing the line here let's go back if this is one so here's one two three I'm putting this value then if that value equals to 2 we will be placing here C if 3 we will place here B otherwise we will place 0 now let's close the brackets now let's extrapolate this formula to the to the bottom and to the right. So now let's highlight this line with red because this line will go to the cash flow statement so let's let's start for example our project from June 2023 so for example here we have 2023 June So June 2023, here, is, here we have the moment when we start operating activity. Before this moment we have the investment plan. If we want to adjust the investment plan, we can do it here. We can see how all this information being added to automize timeline. So now we don't need to manually uh, manually put uh, the inputs directly to investment plan timeline 
uh, because usually there are a lot of um, people make a lot of mistakes when they manually put uh, the numbers inside the the chronology of the project because when they start building numerous scenarios they forgot they forget to displace the investment plan now it is completely optimized we just setting up the moment when we get the revenues the investment plan is linked uh, completely to the um, to the revenues so we can build uh, any amount of scenarios so the scenario building is simplified um, 100% so that's what I was uh, planning to show you if you find this video valuable you may give us a like subscribe share this video with your friends you can also order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas we can help you with that at the end screen of this video I will give you the link to the playlist where I will be keeping all these tutorials and when I finish this model I will give you all the links on these tutorials in the description of this video as well so thank you guys for watching see you next videos thank you and bye